We're in the Chronological Bible and we're moved out of the Galilean ministry into the Judean Perean ministry. Uh, we looked at 55 events in the uh, Galilean ministry and now we're going to be looking at uh, the uh, Perean and Judean ministry. And this is event two that you'll find in John chapter 7 verses 53 through John 8 verse 11. <clears throat> you'll remember that Jesus waited a time after his brothers encouraged him to come down for the festival of the booths came down about the middle of the festival of the booths was in the temple teaching and uh, they were trying to seize him and uh, wanted to trick him and and every way he uh, leaves and goes to the mount of olives for the night and comes back the next day and he's in the temple teaching again this time scribes and the pharisees brought to him a woman that was caught in the very act of adultery. Now, before we move any further, let me say to you, the scribes were the legal experts that copied the scriptures, and the Pharisees were those that were very uh, conservative, legalistic, um, works kind of uh, religious leaders. And the Sadducees were uh, ones that were also uh, conservative in uh, the sect of the the Jewish following of the uh, Old Testament, but uh, they didn't believe in the resurrection of the dead or life hereafter. And so you can remember the Pharisees from the Sadducees and the fact that the Pharisees believed in life hereafter and uh, uh, the resurrection of the dead. And while the Sadducees did not believe in those things, the resurrection of the dead or life hereafter, so they were sad, you see. <laughs> okay, so. Here we have these uh, leaders uh, that are religious uh, and following the law, and they bring a woman that they say was caught in the very act of adultery, and uh, they say then that the law of Moses requires that they be stoned to death, um, and uh, we have uh, Jesus uh, hearing this and being asked, what do you say? Well, it's quite interesting because if you go back and study, and I really highly recommend you do this, Deuteronomy chapter 22, about verse 22 and following, and Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13, you'll find there are a lot of different kinds of adultery. And you'll find that there was a punishment uh, by stoning to death, by burning, uh, and many other ways. But they, there was uh, adultery, the most common one was uh, man having relationship with a married woman. Uh, there were those situations where a woman was engaged and a man had relations with her. Uh, there were situations where there was a virgin uh, who was in the city and didn't cry out when she was uh, taken in a physical form. And there was those that were uh, raped out in the country. And uh, then only the man was to be stoned to death there was also man-to-man -man, uh, physical relationship, which was called uh, a, a very uh, terrible situation, and they would be stoned as well. Uh, but this one we're going to have to assume, as these men that brought this woman uh, brought her and just asked, what do you say about stoning her, and didn't say what the circumstances of this adultery was. So we'll assume, and that's always dangerous, isn't it? that she was a married woman who had relations with a man uh, and therefore was charged here by these uh, men that brought her uh, as adultery caught in the very act. And you got to ask yourself, why didn't they bring the man when they were both caught in the very act? Why didn't they bring the man? Because the man would be just as guilty as the woman according to the law. Nevertheless, we know that Jesus knew the motives of these 
Pharisees and scribes that brought the woman because he knew their hearts. He knew that it was really just to trick him and to cause him to be uh, out of favor because he was doing away with the law of Moses. Uh, but he didn't answer. And uh, they had asked the question very clearly, what do you say we should do? And uh, he bent down and started to write in the sand. Uh, they continued to press him. Uh, while they pressed him, he stood up and said, those of you which have never sinned, throw the first stone. Well, obviously, since we're all sinners and fall short of the glory of God, there was none that could throw the first stone. Uh, then he belt, bent down again and started writing in the sand, and it says that they began to leave the oldest first down to the youngest, and by the time he had finished writing in the sand, he looked at the woman and said, uh, do, do none of these condemn you? There's none here anymore. And she said, no, there's not. And he said, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Well, Jesus was bringing spirit to the law. And certainly we know that uh, he wasn't doing away with the immorality, but rather was bringing a spirit to it. And you can see he does not approve of adultery but rather asks the woman to repent and turn away from it and go and sin no more. Uh, and again, knowing the hearts of those that brought this woman and not bringing the man, he knew that uh, they would not be uh, trying to do anything but trick him. And uh, he brought very clearly to their attention that there was none righteous, no, not one. None of them had not sinned and therefore had no right to throw the stone at the woman. And uh, we certainly need to be careful when we begin to judge others and we judge with two standards of judgment. And we need to be very careful to recognize that there is forgiveness for everything except uh, the rejection of Jesus to the time we draw our last breath. So I hope that you'll meditate both on the fact that these men were only interested in tricking Jesus, not really uh, following any kind of law, and that Jesus brought spirit of forgiveness to the law, and that uh, we should be very careful how we judge others. And that's my thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day. We can know for certain about salvation through the Roman road. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8 But God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.6 For while we were still helpless at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And Romans 10.9, that if we confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. God bless you and have a great day.